hello welcome back to my channel my name is Catherine if you didn't already know um today is my video all about my bedroom makeover which i've been talking about for so long um but i've actually kind of almost finished my room there's still a couple of bits that i haven't yet sort of got um but it's mainly finished so i thought i would share with you my bedroom makeover it might give you some inspo um and yeah that's basically today's video it's been a long video in the making like i've been talking about this for so long um so yeah i hope you enjoy it and if you do then give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below but other than that I'm gonna go ahead and show you my new room. Okay, so if you've been following me for a while, you will know my room before this was literally my 12 year old self's bedroom. Um, it was like, I'll insert a clip if I can find one, but I was literally like duck egg green, which was the trend at the time. We're talking like 10 years ago, by the way. Um, so yeah, it was duck egg green. I had a little, uh, like quote on the wall because I thought I was the shit back in the day. I thought I was so cool, uh, having a quote about dancing. <laughs> there was shit everywhere. Um, I had a massive build up of clothes, um, and just makeup and general shit. Um, so yeah, I had like two wardrobes, I had a rail, I had a chest of drawers, I had a storage thing. Like, I just had shit everywhere, and like, honestly. By the point of getting my room done, I was so sick of my room, but to the point where I didn't really care about it. So like, I would just leave stuff everywhere. Like it was so bad. And I really needed this fresh start. And being in lockdown, having to see duck egg green was low key making me depressed. The start of 2021, I knew I was getting my room done and I'd started looking for like inspo and how I wanted it to look. And in my mind, I knew I wanted it to be completely plain um and just neutral and then have like accents of gold and nude that's what i wanted because that's like basically my aesthetic you'll see in like clothes i wear the makeup looks i do like just general my aesthetic is that very much neutral gold bronzy sort of feel so i thought that's what i want to do with my room i don't want anything too outrageous that could either go out of fashion or i become sick of it so that's why i've gone for a very very plain sort of finish so yeah that's kind of was my initial vision now trying to find things without one being able to see it in real life because obviously shops weren't open or anything like that was a bit of a struggle but luckily it's all come together but it was a bit of a risk when i was choosing like wallpaper and then like a bed and then the furniture and making sure it was all gonna match was quite it was a risk um because as i said you couldn't go into shops and sort of look so this was the room at the start of the project. As you can see, we took out the carpets and the wallpaper before the decorators came. So it's day one of decoration. The walls have been painted white and so has the ceiling. It's exciting. They'll be back next week to continue the decoration. So we had a decorator we knew we were going to use. We have a car carpet people that we always use for our house anyway. And then we we were deciding whether or not to get built-in wardrobes or not. That was one of our biggest sort of, do I get sort of plain white wardrobes from somewhere like Ikea? Or do I go for built-in that could possibly utilise the space I have? I've got a fireplace in the middle and my mum and dad weren't willing to get rid of that, which is fair enough, it's a feature of the house. If it were me, I'd just get rid of it. But whatever, that's another a whole other story. Um, so that always had to stay so it was it was how we used the two alcoves and what we did with that so that was kind of the debate as to what we were going to do and what of course would be cost effective as well we looked into our different options we found some really like big wardrobes that could have filled the space but it wasn't going to completely fill the alcoves um so then we also inquired with a company called hammonds who basically do custom sort of built-in wardrobes for your bedroom space so we had a consultation and we had a designer come in and look at the space see what could be done it's basically different storage options um and then 
different sizes that you can get and different combinations of design. Um, so he basically measured the space and then he had like a laptop and he basically did like a 3D design of how it could look and the different sort of storage options I could have and stuff like that. So for example, I've got a shoe, a shoe rack, which was an additional option. On this side, as you'll see in the clips, I've got um, like shelving units and I've also got um, pull out drawers, which again was like an option. And I thought that'd be really handy because I have got like bits and bobs. It's not all just clothes. Um, so I'm obsessed with that top drawer where I've got all my sunglasses and jewelry and um, little bits and bobs um, in there. And I just think it's such a nice idea. So um, yeah, we obviously went for the built-in option. It meant I would have actually more rail space, which I wouldn't have got if I just had two wardrobes. I would have been more limited. This side, I've got the double rail. So I've actually got two sort of two layers of clothes that again you wouldn't have if you just had one row. Um so yeah it basically just meant we could utilize the space more effectively and um i'm really really happy with the overall like finish of it um i went for just plain white with a slight it's got a slight like sheen to it um and i went for no handles you just press on the like door and then it opens and you press and then it closes so it's quite a little clever mechanism um it took two days to install the only thing we did <laughs> i mean i'm not gonna like drag the company because we are happy with how they turned out but there were a few issues a few teething problems um <laughs> but we got there in the end uh and yeah i was really pleased with it and it's a really good way especially if you're someone that just has a lot of stuff like you just have a lot of clothes or you have a lot of things that you want to put away neatly that don't want to be on display. I'd say it's such a great option and yeah, it's really utilised the space well for me. Sort of the next decision was uh, deciding what furniture to get. So I knew I wanted to get a new bed. That was always uh, on the cards. I was always going to get a new bed. Um, so I went for a bed from a place called Sunday Beds, which I'll leave linked down below. And the bed is actually handmade, uh, I think. So the headboard is um like yeah handmade it's actually got storage in it so you can lift the bed and i put some stuff underneath the bed so again it's more storage space yeah there was different like headboard options you could choose from different designs different colors they sent out um swatches of the different fabrics and colors so i was able to see what they were going to look like in real life and then i had my other samples like my carpet and my wallpaper so i was kind of matching everything up and hoping that it would all go together in the end the beds from there then the bedding itself, um, I just went for plain white and I got that from Dunelm along with the two big cushions. The two big cushions and I think these two um, more like for uh, these ones yeah these ones are from dunelm and the throw is from dunelm and then the the middle cushions with the gold um sort of tint on it i think they're from john lewis um john lewis had some really nice stuff by the way so yeah they're from john lewis and what else from john lewis my side lamp um, that's next to my side table. That's from John Lewis as well. Um, and they also did a matching lamp, uh, a matching, a matching, uh, light shade for your light. But I actually went with a different one in the end. I originally chose this, like, um, chandelier sort of light. Um, but we fix it to my ceiling, which was low-key annoying, but is what it is. Like, we, I didn't have the right fixture, um, and we weren't able to change it. So, I went for, like, a plain white feather, uh, lamp, uh, lamp, what's it called? Light? I don't know what the word is. Uh, light cover? I don't know. But anyway, I've gone for a, uh, yeah, like a fluffy sort of feather white, um, and that is from Next. And then the actual furniture itself, which was quite a risk, um, is from a place called Picture Perfect Homes. Now, I had found this, uh, it was described as Athens Gold Mirror Room. Um, and I had found this like months and months ago. And when I saw it, I've never seen anything like it. But I was like, this is exactly what I want because it was, it was it's mirrored furniture, but it's got like gold detailing. So... It's not gold furniture, but it's got those gold accents that just mean my room is basically gold themed, which I honestly couldn't find a like for like anywhere else. This was the only place I could find this furniture apart from on one other website where they had exactly the same, but it was the same price as well. I, I saw this bedroom, I fell in love with it and I thought this is the furniture I want because I could find mirrored furniture 
but it was always more on the silver side whereas this furniture is more on the gold and that's what i wanted because i love anything like gold bronzy those sort of colors like i love that palette i found this furniture i fell in love with it and i thought this is what i'm gonna get now they did have a bed in this set but the head the the floor the bed was huge and also really really heavy so one thing i'd say about this furniture is fucking heavy like it's so heavy even the people that delivered it struggled to get it up the stairs and struggled to like unpackage it because it was so heavy so yeah i went for the um five piece chest of drawers which um again gives me another storage option for clothes and stuff which i've got in there i have the matching side uh table thing which is like a three drawer side unit um which i've got next to my bed which is just really handy to have like bits and bobs in there and then the main sort of feature was the nine drawer dressing table which I fell in love with it and I thought I need this like I needed a dressing table before I would do my makeup on a desk like it was my old school desk and then I just have mirrors and then my makeup was just everywhere in my room like just everywhere whereas now as you'll see I've got everything neatly stored each drawer is a different type of makeup so I've got my glosses my lashes my eyeshadow palettes all my face makeup and i've got more like um my bronzers my powders my highlights my blushes and then in this one's kind of like uh setting sprays a bit of overspill of stuff um all my body stuff um and yeah and then i've got like my tan and my bathroom bits and my hair care like it's just so nice to have everything in one place um and yeah i've been able to like it's a lot of storage so i've been able to put everything neatly away um and yeah it's just really really nice and then the additional thing i knew i wanted was a mirror for my um vanity because i thought it'd be silly keeping like a really small mirror to do my makeup on like i wanted a proper mirror um so i found this mirror from a place called hollywood mirrors um and it was quite pricey but i think it's going to be so worth it as you'll see it's also got like lighting options so i don't know if you can see the light changing um but it's got like 10 light bulbs around it um and you basically turn it on and off um and yeah it gives you that proper like selfie lighting um, when you're doing your makeup so yeah i have been using this and i've honestly been loving it it was such a good investment and so worth it and because it's mirrored as well like the base of the actual mirror is mirrored it goes fine with my um furniture because i wasn't sure whether it'd be more on the silver side but they actually had a picture on the website with mirrored furniture and it looked fine so yeah i think i can get away with it um and i really like that and then a few little accessories that i put in the room which i'm still i so a couple of things i ordered that were a big flop so i ordered artwork i ordered this big um picture and it basically the quality was shockingly bad and it was a bit too big so yeah that's going back and i also ordered like this gold sort of like display stand so yeah it was like this gold sort of free tier stand that had like all this like embellishment on it and i thought it was going to look amazing and i could like put some stuff on display um but it came and it was really crap quality and it just didn't go like it was the wrong shade of gold actually um and yeah it just wasn't great quality so again that's gone back and i also you might have seen i had a full length mirror like a full length gold mirror um and i got that from john lewis but again it was just the wrong just the wrong shade of gold um so i am looking for a full length mirror but i can't have a leaning mirror um because it's going to damage the wallpaper so i need a mirror that's like on a stand so it's not actually resting against the wall or if i do get a resting wall one it needs like padding on the back um so if anyone has any recommendations for full length mirrors please do let me know because i'm still looking for that and i still want to get some artwork because i think this wall behind me is really plain and it could do with something there so i'm possibly going to get yeah some prints or something um but i'm still sort of yeah looking into that so that's what i'm waiting for um but i've obviously got the fashion books um i got them from amazon so i got a chanel one a louis vuitton one and a dior one and they are proper legit fashion books they've got like catwalks and yeah like different 
fashion shows um so when i'm bored i'm gonna sit through and read these different fashion books and i also knew i wanted um some pampas grass to be featured in my room as that is very uh trendy at the moment so yeah i ordered uh some pampas grass and this um vase which i really like it it's like a black outline vase um again i'll link it below and i got the pampas grass from the same website and i absolutely love the way it's turned out um, and then I also got a little candle, a little body candle and some um, coasters. And then my dad was so cute. So he saw where I got the pampas grass and was like, oh my God, pampas grass, like da, da, da. And then he came home with a bunch of new pampas grass. So I'm actually going to get another one of those vases and probably put that um, on top of my dresser. So yeah, they are all the things I got for my room. And this is kind of, yeah, how it turned out. Um, I have filmed like lots of little clips. So I've probably been inserted them as I've been talking through the story of how my room came together. So as I said, I'll link everything down below if I can find it. So hopefully if you are looking to get the same or similar, you can then go find something. If you're looking to do your bedroom over to and just want some inspo, um, then I'd say, yeah, check out these websites. It has been a bit hit and miss. I'm not going to lie. Like the furniture there was a couple of issues but we managed to resolve it with the company as i said there was a bit of teething problems with the wardrobes um but overall i'm happy with the with the wardrobes but yeah it wasn't as straightforward as we'd first hoped um there wasn't any problems with the bed to be fair um and yeah there was a few things where i'd ordered it online and it came and it just wasn't as good quality so my recommendation if you are doing a whole room from scratch like go and find it in real life or get samples oh the wallpaper as well the wallpaper i can't remember the name of the company but i'll link it below but i don't know if you can see in the clip the wallpaper's actually got like um shimmer on it so when it's dark and the light reflects on it it's got like these really subtle shimmery um Sort of reflexes in it it's really pretty it was described as like prosecco glitter or something like that and i just thought that is the wallpaper for me that is my room transformation i've gone for everything really high finish um but i knew that's what i wanted because i was so sick of my room and i had a vision of like my perfect sort of dream room and that's what i've created there's still a few bits and pieces that i want to get just to sort of make it even better but i'm really pleased with how it's turned out and yeah i've been like i think i've fully been living in it for like two three weeks now and i still can't believe it's actually my room like it feels like i'm staying in a hotel like it's so nice um and i fully properly moved everything in like yesterday um but yeah it took me hours and hours to get everything in and like make it all as perfect as possible if you enjoyed it then give it a give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below um and go follow me on instagram as well um and yeah i'm sure i'll see you very soon with another video bye you